decided to do on, do it on Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And of course, if we're going to be talking about Ben and Jerry's ice cream, we need to talk about the two big guys, Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield. Now, these two guys were born in Brooklyn, New York. They were born actually four days apart from each other and remained very close friends all throughout their lives. They um, didn't go into business together until after college. Their careers sort of sizzled out and they didn't have anything really going for them. So they were like, all right, let's go into business together and let's figure something out that we're good at. They actually originally wanted to go into bagel, um, make bagels, but actually they figured out that the actual material or machines to make bagels is way too expensive. So they decided to go into ice cream. Uh, when they chose ice cream, they took a $5 course on how to make it and started their own uh, little shop in Vermont, Burlington in 1978. And this became a huge success even though they had no idea really what they were doing. Um, the first three cone day, which is a national thing now, it's a really big deal, was the first one was celebrated in 1979 because they were celebrating the anniversary of when they first started their business. Uh, this has actually been started, they, um, they have this new slogan called Be One in a Million because each day that they sell, that they have these free cones, they sell over, well not sell, they give away over one million cones, so the term one in a million became a huge deal. Uh, the last one that, they, that just uh, occurred was March 23rd, 2010. Um, because of their rapid uh, growth and everything like that, they, uh, in 1980, Ben and Jerry expanded by opening up a new pint opening industry on uh, South Chaplin Street in Burlington. And from here, they would open, or uh, sell these pints to grocers along the restaurant area and he was act, Ben was actually selling this out of his Volkswagen which I thought was pretty funny and um, from here they just kept expanding and expanding and in 1988 they were actually named President uh, Pre President Ronald Reagan named Ben and Jerry the uh, US Small Business Persons of the Year and why is Ben and Jerry so popular well for one Ben & Jerry's offers a variety of tasty and interesting flavors that are unique to their company. As you can see some here, uh, chocolate fudge brownie, we have half-baked, chunky monkey, fish food, all this stuff is original to what they are. Um, all the new flavors were actually invented by Jerry without any testing uh, to the market. So no people tried these out before they put them out on the market. They, he just went with his gut feeling and started selling them. As I said, those are some of the uh, popular ones. Cherry Garcia is also a very, very important or unique flavor. It was named after the legendary Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead. And it was actually the first ice cream that was ever named after a rock legend. These are actually some deceased flavors that Ben and Jerry's makes a joke about. They've had a lot of good flavors, but some just aren't as great to the public. So actually in their Iowa, or not Iowa, sorry, Vermont factory, they have an actual graveyard of all these flavors in their little tourist area factory. And it's actually a big, big tourist attraction over in there. Um, they needed to take a new direction because as Ben & Jerry's expanded, a lot of other companies did too. Mainly haagen and Dryers. Um, haagen actually, they were sort of jerks. They tried to stop Ben & Jerry's from expanding by trying to limit what they could sell and where they could sell. And that actually forced Ben & Jerry's to cause a, or file a lawsuit twice against haagen -Dazs. But anyways, it still it didn't help. They were still in big competition with them and they had to take other steps to help their company. Um, um, in 2000, food giant Unilever purchased Ben & Jerry's for $326 million. But the thing was, they decided that they couldn't uh, run this company under all the rest of the ice cream companies, that they needed to have their own line because Ben & Jerry's was so unique and they needed to keep it that way. Now, Ben & Jerry's also has a lot of cultural significance. A lot of people don't know that. Ben & Jerry's are huge liberals. They go beyond conservative views. And they, you can see this through their various demonstrations or random renaming of ice creams. Uh, some of them are listed here. I have Earth Day 2005, which was a protest against oil drilling in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge for oil. And uh, they did this by creating the largest baked Alaska, which was 1,140 pounds. 
and they protested in front of the Capitol with the other employees, Greenpeace members, and it was actually a success, and the drilling never took place, but they would like to say that they're part of it. Um, in September 2009, they temporarily changed the name of the best-selling ice cream, Chubby Hubby, to Hubby Hubby, which was to celebra celebrate the legalization of gay marriage in its home state, Vermont. And in January 2009, in reference to Barack Obama winning the presidency, Ben and Jerry created Yes We Can, mitigating the campaign slogan, Yes We Can. All, uh, all proceeds, of course, were donated to the Common Cause Education Fund. And um, Ben and Jerry's ice cream has come a long way since their first shop in Vermont, but you know, the essentials have always stayed the same. I hope you enjoyed your ice cream.